Hi guys. Welcome back to the kitchen, you guys. Welcome me back to the kitchen. Um, I've been AWOL for like 10 days now. And I'm totally disorganized, but that's not unusual. Um, I've been on holidays, you guys. I have 10 days off, another three left to go. And part of my 10 days off, normal people on holidays rest and relax, maybe read a book, sit in a lawn chair or something. But I post a honeydew list on my fridge, which becomes a me-do list because there's no honey to do my honeydew things. And I launch myself into about 10 days worth or 10 days, six months worth of projects in 10 days, which is exactly what I did. So I've been busy, 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 but most of my things that were on my projects are done. Everything except painting I did. I cleaned all my cupboards out, I purged a bunch of clothes, I lost everything in my kitchen, including my gloves. So let's try to find those so that I don't get completely messy. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure where I put them. Um, I watched a bunch of videos and I really want to learn something different. I really want to try a different technique. So I've seen quite a few artists do this and I can't remember everybody's names, but I know Michelle Galley at Grateful Creations does some pretty fun flicking paint just for a completely different look. And I've tried a couple of them. Um, my odds are not good for what I like, what I don't like. All right, we're gonna do this naked hands because I can't find my bag of gloves anywhere. Um, yeah, but I've tied a couple, like I said, a couple that I really like, majority that I don't like, but it's super fun to just try something else. So as usual, I didn't really research how to mix the paints and I just kind of winging it. So my base paint is house paint, not acrylic flow paint. And it's mixed 50 50 with flow troll just to thin it down. My paints are still kind of bloom consistency, so it could possibly be why I haven't had great results. Anyway, we're gonna do it. So that was Atelier Blue Black. This is just plain white because I'm gonna use ochre with the blue, and I don't really want green in there. That's my theory. Okay, this is gold, Atelier Rich Gold. Okay, and then we'll separate these with a little bit of Amsterdam Golden Ochre. And if we hate it, we'll pour over it and we'll swipe something out. And this is our favorite, Quinacridone. Very thick, as you can see. So I'm gonna do another puddle not necessarily same colors, but not in the same order. And then we're gonna flick it with our naked fingers. So one of the things I did on my holidays, guys, it was my annual prawn feast, and it was to die for. I bought seven pounds of prawns for the family, and I didn't make anything fancy with them. I just did prawns with garlic dip, and my daughter, who is a super pleasure to have a grown adult in the house now, my daughter made two different macaroni salads. One was really, really yummy. It was like a Greek salad, macaroni salad. It was to die for. And we did garlic bread and prawns and two different kinds of salad. And then we bought some corn. And that's all we had. And it was delicious. Everybody got to sort of have as many as they wanted. Okay, we're gonna flick this with cell mix in it too. Black, and then we're gonna flick it. I'm gonna move my paints because the last time I did this, I had paint splattering everywhere. Two, three more, and then let's do this. So maybe I will try flicking it with a stick because 
I really don't want to be covered in paint. But the price we pay. All right, let's just flick it. So just flicking. So the first couple ones I tried, I went way too deep. So I think the key is to try to maybe, like our bloom, just kind of flick this over the surface like that. But big hole in the middle. Not what I wanted. Maybe a less aggressive flicking. Oh, goodness. Oh, well, I can see this isn't going to be workable for me. <laughs> Fun to try new, though. Let's just give that a minute and let the paint kind of fill back in. Yeah, see, I can't really... Don't really flick well with a stick. I don't like all these splashes and splatters. That's what my kitchen looked like. It took me like the better part of a week to kind of try to get my kitchen in order for company. When it's just me, it's not a big deal. I just kind of clean everything to my satisfaction and I walk away. But when I have company coming, I have to actually go the whole route, scrape the paint off the floor and off the ceiling and off all my chairs. And yeah, it was a big, it was a big procedure. Okay, let's spin this. Let's find my spinning wall. Let's just spin it and see what happens. Okay, guys, here we go. Oh, messy, messy, messy. not the right mix of paint. I would think it's probably way too thin. So let's fix it. Okay, let's just pour right over top of this. So now I'm just using Plain Beauty Tone Paint right out of the bottle. I'm going to scoop this up and we're going to try that again with thicker base paint, because I can already tell that that's not going to work. All right. Time to find a cup. That's another thing, when I clean up my kitchen, my house is so tiny, when I clean up for company, I tend to squirrel things away in really weird little spots, and then I cannot find anything. I've lost a bunch of stuff. Spots that I think are really clever places to put them until I try to go and find them. Okay. So. Experiment number one, gone. So you can see how thin my paints are, sorry for the noise. Um, quite thin, because I thought that I would have to have them thin in order to get the paint to move. But when they gobble up my colors, that doesn't make me happy. All right, let's try again. Now we're really messy. Okay, this time we have Beauty Tone Paint right out of the can. Nice and thick and gooey. And we're going to use the same colors. I'm sort of debating whether I need to maybe thin my colors out a little bit. I don't really want to. Quinacridone, Nico Azo Gold.
How you guys are spinning? Golden ochre. Okay, this time I'm gonna put black cell mix right in the in the mix. some gold in there whoops and then we're gonna flick it again okay you ready okay well my colors are better which makes me happy. I don't like it when my colors sink into the paint. When the paint is too thin, that is exactly what happens. Let's pop these bubbles. And let's add some more color. Well, there looks like that magic. Poof, there's more color. Oh, well, there's less color. Gold. And blue. Sorry guys, I'm running back and forth, I know that. I'm trying really hard not to trash the kitchen, so I have, instead of piling everything on the chair, it's all behind me. That's white and black cell mix. Oh goodness. Okay, let's try that and see what happens. It'll be very abstract, there's no doubt about that. And again, if I hate it, we'll just pour right over it. All right, let's pick it up and stretch it out a tiny bit and see if anything is worthy of doing this. You know what, all of these techniques are learned techniques. It looks so easy to just flick the paint in an orderly fashion, uh, but as you can see, it doesn't really work that way. It's learned. I can do it. So interestingly enough, these are basically just my bloom paints, except I did put a different pouring medium in. My bloom paint pouring medium right now is got no polyacrylic in it. I did a mixture of 50-50 US Floetrol with Elmer's Glue All, and then when I put it in my containers with my paint, if it didn't look thick enough, I added a scoop of Ultra Deep Base, and if it looked thick enough, I just left it alone. Well, that's kind of interesting. Let's go down just a tiny bit there and then bring that back. All right, so I thought I made a lot of mess before, but this is awful. this needed that little chain of cells in there let's do a tidy up
like it. I'm not sure. It's definitely not my favorite, but there's pieces I like. I like this. So rather than just throw it all out, let's maybe put a transfer swipe over it and see what happens. Experimental play tonight, you guys. Okay, I just poured a puddle on top of a messy puddle of Conacridol Nickel Isa Gold and Black Cell Mix. And we're just going to kind of mix this into it. Okay, let's blow that out and see what happens. As you can see, my paints are mixed nicely for blooms, but maybe not for the swishy stuff. But I like this corner. This is just kind of boring. So let's give this a second. And then let's just scoop some of this up. Let's come in here. Well, that's a bit brighter, isn't it? Okay, and we're going to scoop up the rest. And we're going to come in this way and cover some of that up. Okay, now we're going to spin it once I get my walls up. Kate, are you ready? You're spinning without me. Oh goodness, things are crashing behind me, crashing in front of me. It's way too chaotic for me. It's pretty, but it's quite busy. Yeah, okay, I'm going to scrape it, you guys. We're going to try again with maybe just a transfer swipe. I'm going to put you on hold because I can't stand the paint on my hands. Back in five. Okay, guys, I'm back. I found my gloves. I scraped off my original piece into a cup. And we're going to use the same dirty paint for our transfer swipe background this time. And we're gonna try the flicky thing again, but not today, because I'm pretty sure my paints are way too thick. These are definitely made for blooms. And I didn't wanna mix up new paints because I'm trying really hard to use up some of the paints that I have around the house. And I, I tend to get kind of crazy. I mix up paints in three different ways to make four different kinds of pores and then I get them all mixed up and I don't know what's what so I'm trying to use up stuff use up pouring mediums that I've already got made and so we're going to stick to this and that's really where I'm comfy so it's 10 times easier to stay in my comfort zone oh my god shoot me shoot me shoot me shoot me the sky is falling okay black cell mix 
Here we go. Top of the head. All right, we're gonna fix my wall. Put my cornerstone back up. We're gonna pop some of these bubbles. And we might just pour a clean puddle in the blue and white because I really, really like it and it looks super nice with the quinacridone. Let's just do a dirty clean puddle. Clean, dirty puddle, you guys. So, Atelier Blue Black, and we're just going to do blue, black, and white on this one to get a little bit of maybe some lighter tones. That's my goal. White. Black. Okay, here we go. Okay, gives us two variations of colors to work with. And then we can transfer one on top of the other and see what happens. Again, I'm gonna put my paint away. I would love to have a she shed or a spare room or somewhere where I could just make a mess and not worry about it. If the weather ever improves in Greater Victoria, I'm going to try to do some bigger pieces outside in the lawn. And then I'm just going to cover them with like a tent or something until they dry, but we are still waiting for spring to come to Greater Victoria. We've had Weeks and weeks and weeks of just crappy weather. We're still all in polar fleeces. Um, things, crops that normally have come up, haven't come up yet. And of course, that's going to be the other big reason why everything is so expensive. Groceries here are just disgusting. Butter is like $7 a pound right now. All right, let's put a little bit more on. Okay, let's go with that. I will get this yet, you guys. Okay, so let's do the lighter color underneath first, and then we'll fancy it up with the conacridone. So let's take our blue puddle, same thing, and we're just gonna transfer it on. Look at that, how pretty is that already? Okay. Let's get some quinacridones and blues in there. Black. Well, it's way more my style, you guys. I might have another puddle left for something else. Okay, let's see what we can do with that. I need to put a little more base coat there because I don't want this collection of cells to kind of run over itself. 
This is the watery stuff, but it's not going to matter because it's all going to go off anyway. Okay, it's spin. We're going to scoop this stuff right back into our dirty puddle. All of the stuff I use over and over again, or I try. Try not to waste a ton of paint. It does happen. I'm not going to lie and say I never waste any because that would be total bull. But I try to use it. really interesting background sometimes for like different swipes things like that oh goodness you guys it's hard to be me today okay let's stretch this I really, really like clean lines and I like negative space as you all know. So this kind of pour like this just kind of makes my heart sing. It's just, I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, so I gotta lose a tiny bit of paint and I have a gooey bit on this corner. So I'm going to take that corner right down and off. Ridding the goody bit, gooey bit as well, I hope. Okay, there it goes over the edge. All right, now my gut instinct says that I need to get rid of that little turtle head thing there. That's what it's telling me. What do you think? Should we get rid of that? <laughs> okay, let's just, let's just be bold. Let's some, put something over it. Let's take another little bit of this. And let's go right over that. I got to turn you guys around. Problem solved, my friends. Problem solved. Quick spin. All right, my friends, that would be it. That would be done. So... Uh, you know what? Thank you guys for, if you're still with me, thank you for staying with me. Um, that was a long process to get to this end. I should have started here in the first place, but I'm going to keep practicing this flicking paint 
and you just never know. I had to practice this. It certainly didn't just come right away. So all of these techniques take time. They all take practice. It's all a technique. So don't get frustrated. Just keep practicing. Keep practicing. I like this. I'm glad we added this last little bit because this top section is pretty cool. And I will get you off your perch. And I'll bring you down and we'll have a closer look. All right, guys, here we go. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is lose the light lock. And I'm going to try to get me out of the way because there's so many shadows. Okay, the light lock is off. So now you can see the true colors. So quinacridone nickel azo gold and... Atelier's Blue Black are absolutely gorgeous together. So here's our fun little section that we just added to cover up my oops spot. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. I'm just going to turn the board. And there's our beautiful cell. So this was the Atelier Blue Black and White with Black Cell Activator, and that's it. So I'm super happy with that now. I apologize that it took a month of Sundays to get here, but sometimes look at that, mean the shadows again. Oh, you guys, I can't get it right. That's what it looks like, you guys. That's what it looks like. All right, thank you so much, you guys, for pouring with me. I'll try to get my mm -mm together and get shadows and things figured out, and I'll go from there. All right, my friends, poor happy, stay safe. Thank you, each and every one of you once again. I will try to get some of these questions answered from like 10 days ago. I did read them. I've just been crazy, crazy busy. All right, guys, bye.